Part 28 Chapter 58 She Who Disputes In the Name of God, the Merciful, the Compassionate Surely God has heard the saying of she who disputes with thee about her spouse, and she complains to God, and God hears the conversing between you both. Truly God is hearing, seeing. Those of you who say to their wives, Be as my mother's back, they are not your mothers. Their mothers are only those who gave them birth, and truly they say a saying of one who is immoral and an untruth, and truly God is pardoning, forgiving. And those who say, Be as my mother's back to their wives, and after that retract what they have said, then let go of a bonds person before they both touch one another. That is of what you are admonished, and God is aware of what you do. He who finds not such means than formal fasting for two successive months before they both touch one another, and for him who is unable to fast the feeding of sixty needy persons, that is so that you may believe in God and his messenger, and those are the ordinances of God. And for the ones who are ungrateful, a painful punishment. Truly, those who oppose God and his messenger, they were suppressed as those before them had been suppressed. And surely we have sent forth clear portents, signs, for ones who are ungrateful is a despised punishment on a day when God will raise them up all together and tell them of what they did. God has counted it while they have forgotten it, and God is a witness over everything. Hast thou not considered that God knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in and on the earth? There is no conspiring secretly of three, but he is their fourth, nor of five, but he is the sixth, nor of fewer than that, nor of more, but he is with them wherever they might be. After that, he will tell them of what they did on the day of resurrection. Truly God is knowing of everything. Hast thou not considered those who were prohibited from conspiring secretly? After that, they revert to what they were prohibited from and hold secret counsel in sin and deep-seated dislike and in opposition to the messenger. And when they drew near to thee, they gave thee greetings with that with which God gave not as a greeting to thee. And they say to themselves, Why punishes us not God for what we say? Hell will be enough for them. They will roast in it. Then how miserable the homecoming. O oh, those who have believed, when you hold secret counsel, hold not secret counsel in sin and deep-seated dislike and in opposition to the messenger, but hold secret counsel for virtuous conduct and God-consciousness, and be God-fearing of God before whom you will be assembled. Conspiring secretly is only from Satan, that he may dishearten those who have believed, but he is not one who is harmed at all, but with the permission of God. In God let the ones who believe put their trust. O those who have believed, when it is said to you, make ample space in the assemblies, then make room. God will make room for you. And when it is said, move up, then move up. God will exalt those among you who have believed and those who were given knowledge in degrees. And God is aware of what you do. O those who have believed, when you consulted with the messenger, put charity forward in advance of your conversing privately. That is better for you and purer. But if you find not the means, then truly God is forgiving, compassionate. Are you apprehensive to put forward charity before your conversing privately? If then you accomplish it not, God has turned in forgiveness to you. Perform the formal prayer and give the purifying alms and obey God and his messenger, and God is aware of what you do. Hast thou considered those who turn in friendship to a folk against whom God is angry? They are not of you, nor are you of them, and they swear to a lie while they know. 
God has prepared a severe punishment for them. Truly they, how evil is what they had been doing. They have taken their oaths to themselves as a pretext, and they have barred from the way of God. So for them is a despised punishment. Avails them not their wealth and their children against God at all. Those will be the companions of the fire. They, ones who will dwell in it forever. On a day when God will raise them up altogether, then they will swear to him as they swear to you, assuming that they are something. They, they are ones who lie. Satan has gained mastery over them, so he has caused them to forget the remembrance of God. Those are of the party of Satan. Regard the party of Satan. They will be the ones who are losers. Truly, those who oppose God and his messenger, those are among the humbled in spirit. God has prescribed, I will prevail, truly I and my messengers. Truly God is strong, almighty. Thou shalt not find any folk who believe in God and the last day, who make friends with those who have opposed God and his messenger, even though they had been their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their kinspeople. Those he has prescribed belief in their hearts and confirmed them with a spirit from himself, and he will cause them to enter gardens beneath which rivers run as ones who will dwell in them forever. God has been well pleased with them, and they have been well pleased with him. Those are the party of God. Regard the party of God. They are the ones who prosper. Chapter 59 The Banishment In the name of God, the Merciful, the Compassionate Whatever is in the heavens glorified God, and whatever is in and on the earth, and He is the Almighty, the Wise. It is He who drove out those who were ungrateful among the people of the book from their abodes at the first assembling. You thought that they would not go forth and they thought that they were ones who were secure in their fortresses from God. But God approached them from where they anticipate not, and he hurled alarm into their hearts. They devastate their own houses with their own hands, and the hands of the ones who believe. Then learn a lesson, O those imbued with sight. If God had not prescribed banishment for them, he would have punished them in the present, and for them in the world to come would be the punishment of the fire. That is because they made a breach with God and his messenger. And whoever makes a breach with God, then truly God is severe in repayment. Whatever palm trees you severed or left them as ones that arise from their roots, it was with the permission of God, and so that he might cover with shame the ones who disobey. And what God gave as spoils of war to his messenger from them, you spurred not an animal for an expedition, neither any horse nor riding camel. But God gives authority to his messengers over whomever he wills, and God is powerful over everything. What God gave to his messenger as spoils of war from the people of the towns is for God and his messenger and the possessors of kinship and the orphans, and the needy, and the traveler of the way, so that it may not change hands between the rich among you. And whatever the messenger gives you, take it, and refrain yourselves from what he prohibits you, and be God-fearing of God. Truly God is severe in repayment. For the poor who were of the ones who immigrate, those who were driven out from their abodes, and lost their property, looking for grace from God and his contentment, and they help God and his messenger, there is also a share. Those, they are the ones who are sincere. And those who had taken their abodes and had abided in belief before them, love them who immigrated to them, and they find not in their breasts any need for what the immigrants were given, and hold them in greater favor over themselves, even though they themselves had been in destitution. And whoever is protected from his own stinginess, then those are the ones who prosper. 
and those who drew near after them, they say, Our Lord, forgive us and our brothers who have preceded us in belief, and make not in our hearts any grudge against those who have believed. Our Lord, truly thou art gentle, compassionate. Hast thou not considered those who are ones who are hypocrites? They say to their brothers, those who were ungrateful among the people of the book, If you were driven out, we certainly will go forth with you, and we will never obey any one against you ever. And if you were fought against, we will certainly help you. And God bears witness that they truly are ones who lie. Certainly, if they are driven out, they will not go forth with them, and if they are fought against, they will not help them, and if they helped them, they would turn their backs. After that, they will not be helped. Truly, you are a more severe fright in their breasts than God. That is because they are a folk who understand not. They fight not against you altogether, but in fortified towns or from behind walls. Their might among themselves is very severe. You would assume them united, but their hearts are towards diverse ends. That is because they are a folk who are not reasonable. As the likeness of those who were before them, they experienced the immediate mischief of their affair, and for them is a painful punishment. As the likeness of Satan when he said to the human being, Be ungrateful. Then, when he was ungrateful, Satan said, I am free of you. I fear God, the Lord of the worlds. The ultimate end of both of them will be that they will be in the fire, ones who will dwell in it forever, and that is the recompense of the ones who are unjust. O those who have believed, be God-fearing of God, and let every soul look on what it has put forward for tomorrow, and be God-fearing of God. Truly God is aware of what you do. And be not like those who forgot God, and he caused them to forget themselves. Those, they are the ones who disobey. The companions of the fire are not equal to the companions of the garden. The companions of the garden, they are the ones who are victorious. If we had sent forth this, the Quran, on a mountain, you would have seen it as one that is humbled, one that is split open from dread of God, and such are the parables that we propound for humanity, so that perhaps they would reflect. He is God, there is no God but He, the one who has knowledge of the unseen and the visible. He is the merciful, the compassionate. He is God besides whom there is no God but He, the King, the Holy, the Peaceable, the Bestower, the Preserver, the Almighty, the Compeller, the one who is supreme. Glory be to God above whatever partners they ascribe with him. He is God, the creator, the one who fashions, the one who is the giver of form. To him belongs the fairest names. Whatever is in the heavens glorifies him, and whatever is in and on the earth. And he is the Almighty, the wise. Chapter 60 she who is put to a test, in the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. O those who have believed, take not my enemies to yourselves and your enemies as protectors, giving a proposal of affection towards them while they have been ungrateful for what has drawn near to you of the truth. They have driven out the messenger and yourselves because you believe in God, your Lord. If you have been going forth to struggle in my way and look for my good will, you keep secret affection for them, and yet I am greater in knowledge of what you have concealed and what you have spoken openly. And whoever accomplishes that among you, surely he has gone astray from the right path. If they come upon you, they will be enemies against you, extending their hands against you and their tongues with evil and they wished that you would be ungrateful. Your blood relations will never profit you nor your children. On the day of resurrection he will distinguish among you, 
and God is seeing of what you do. Surely there had been a fair, good example for you in Abraham and those with him when they said to their folk, Truly we are released from obligation to you and whatever you worship other than God. We disbelieved in you. There has shown itself between us and between you enmity and hatred eternally until you believe in one God. But for Abraham saying to his father, Truly, I will ask for forgiveness for thee, and I possess not anything for thee before God. Our Lord, in thee we have put our trust, and to thee we are penitent, and to thee is the homecoming. Our Lord, make us not be a cause of their pleasure for those who were ungrateful, and forgive us. Our Lord, truly thou, thou art the Almighty, the wise. Certainly there has been a fair, good example in them for you, for those who have been hoping for God and the last day. And whoever turns away, then truly God, he is sufficient, worthy of praise. Perhaps God will assign between you and between those with whom you are at enmity affection, and God is powerful, and God is forgiving, compassionate. God prohibits you not from those who fight not against you because of your way of life, nor drive you out of your abodes. So be good, and be ones who are equitable towards them. Truly God loves the ones who are equitable. God prohibits you not but from those who fought against you because of your way of life, and drive you out of your abodes, and were behind those who were expelling you, that you turn to them in friendship. And whoever turns to them in friendship, then those, they are the ones who are unjust. O those who have believed, when ones who are female believers drew near to you, ones who immigrate, put them to a test. God is greater in knowledge as to their belief. Then, if you knew that they are ones who are female believers, return them not to the ones who are ungrateful. They are not allowed to those men, nor are those men lawful for them. And give those men what those men have spent. There is no blame on you that you males marry them when you have given them their compensation, and hold back conjugal ties with the ones who are ungrateful, and ask for what you males have spent, and let them ask for what those males have spent. That is the determination of God. He gives judgment among you, and God is knowing, wise. And if any slip away from you of your wives to the ones who are ungrateful, then you retaliate and give the like to those whose wives have gone of what they have spent. And be God-fearing of God, in whom you are ones who believe. O prophet, when drew near to thee the ones who are female believers, to take the pledge of allegiance to thee, that they will not ascribe any partners with God, nor will they steal, nor will they commit adultery, nor will they kill their children, nor will they approach making false charges that they devise between their hands and their feet, and that they rebel not against thee in anything that is moral, then take their pledge of allegiance and ask forgiveness from God for them. Truly God is forgiving, compassionate. O those who have believed, turn not in friendship to a folk against whom God is angry. Surely they have given up hope for the world to come, just as have given up hope the ones who are ungrateful of the occupants of the graves. Chapter 61 The Ranks In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Whatever is in the heavens glorifies God, and whatever is in and on the earth. And he is the Almighty, the wise. O those who have believed, why say you what you accomplish not? It is most troublesome, repugnant to God, that you say what you accomplish not. Truly, God loves those who fight in his way, ones ranged in rows as if they were a well-compacted structure. And when Moses said to his folk, O my folk, why inflict torment on me, while surely you know that I am the messenger 
of God to you. So when they swerved, God caused their hearts to swerve, and God guides not the folk, the ones who disobey. And when Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am the messenger of God to you, one who establishes as true what was in advance of me in the Torah, and one who gives good tidings of a messenger to approach after me. His name will be Ahmad. But when we brought about the clear portents to them, they said, This is clear sorcery. And who has done greater wrong than the one who devised a lie against God while he is being called to submission? And God guides not the unjust folk. They want to extinguish the light of God with their mouths, and God is one who is fulfiller of his light, even though the ones who are ungrateful disliked it. He it is who has sent his messenger with guidance and the way of life of the truth, to uplift it over all other ways of life, even though the ones who are polytheists disliked it. O oh, those who have believed, shall I point you to a transaction that will rescue you from a painful punishment? You believe in God and his messenger, and struggle in the way of God with your wealth and your lives. That is better for you if you would know. He will forgive you your impieties and cause you to enter into gardens beneath which rivers run, and into good dwellings in the gardens of Eden. That is the winning the sublime triumph. And with God is another thing you love. Help is from God and victory in the near future, so give good tidings to the ones who believe. O those who have believed, be helpers of God, as Jesus, son of Mary, said to the disciples, Who are my helpers for God? The disciples said, We are the helpers for God. Then a section believed of the children of Israel, and a section was ungrateful, so we confirmed those who believed against their enemies, and they became ones who were uppermost. Chapter 62 The Congregation In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Whatever is in the heavens glorifies God, and whatever is in and on the earth, the King, the Holy, the Almighty, the Wise. He it is who raises up among the unlettered a messenger from among them, recounting his signs to them, and making them pure, and teaching them the book and wisdom, even though they had been before certainly clearly going astray, and also to others among them who have not yet joined them, and he is the Almighty, the wise. That is the grace of God. He gives it to whom he wills, and God is possessor of the sublime grace. The parable of those who were entrusted with the Torah but then carries it not, is as the parable of a donkey who carries writings. How miserable is the parable of a folk who deny the signs of God, and God guides not the unjust folk. Say, O oh, those who became Jews, if you claim that you are the protectors of God to the exclusion of humanity, then covet death if you have been ones who are sincere. But they will not covet it ever, because of what their hands have put forward. And God is knowing of the ones who are unjust. Say, truly the death that you run away from, then it will be truly that which you encounter. After that, you will be returned to the one who has knowledge of the unseen and the visible. Then he will tell you what you had been doing. O those who have believed, when the formal prayer is proclaimed on the day of congregation, then hasten to the remembrance of God and forsake trading. That is better for you if you had been knowing. Then, when the formal prayer has ended, be you dispersed through the earth, looking for the grace of God, and remember God frequently, so that perhaps you would prosper. And when they consider a transaction or a diversion, they break away towards it, and leave thee as one who is standing up. Say, what is with God is better than any diversion or any transaction, and God is the best of the ones who provide. Chapter 63, 
the hypocrites, in the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. When the ones who are hypocrites drew near to you, they said, We bear witness that thou art truly the messenger of God, and God knows that thou art truly his messenger, and God bears witness that the ones who are hypocrites are ones who lie. They have taken their oaths to themselves as a pretext. Then they barred from the way of God. Truly they, how evil is what they have been doing. That is because they believed and then disbelieved. So a seal was set on their hearts, so they understand not. When you see them, their physiques impress thee, and when they speak, thou hearest their saying. They have been as propped up timber. They assume that every cry is against them. They are the enemy, so beware of them. May God take the offensive. Where are they misled? And when it is said to them, Approach now. The messenger of God asks forgiveness for you. They twist their heads, and you would see them dissuading, while they are ones who grow arrogant. It is the same to them whether thou wouldst ask for forgiveness for them or ask not for forgiveness for them. God will never forgive them. Truly God guides not the disobedient folk. Those, they who say, spend not on such ones who are with the messenger of God until they break away, and to God belongs the treasures of the heavens and the earth, but the ones who are hypocrites understand not. They say, if we return to the city, certainly the more mighty would drive out the humble in spirit from it. Yet to God belongs the great glory, and to his messenger, and to the ones who believe. But the ones who are hypocrites know not. O those who have believed, let not your wealth divert you, nor your children, from the remembrance of God. And whoever accomplishes that, then those are the ones who are losers and spend what we have provided you before death approaches to any of you. Then he will say, My Lord, if only thou wouldst postpone it for a little term, then I would be charitable and be among the ones who are in accord with morality. But God will never postpone it for a soul when its term has drawn near, and God is aware of what you do. Chapter 64 the mutual loss and gain, in the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Whatever is in the heavens glorifies God, and whatever is in and on the earth. His is the dominion, and to him belongs all the praise, and he is powerful over everything. He it is who has created you, so some of you are ones who disbelieve, and some of you are ones who believe, and God is seeing of what you do. He has created the heavens and the earth with the truth, and he has formed you and formed your forms well, and to him is the homecoming. He knows what is in the heavens and the earth, and he knows what you keep secret and what you speak openly, and God is knowing of what is in the breasts. Has there not approached you the tiding of those who were ungrateful before? They experience the mischief of their affair, and there is a painful punishment for them. That was because their messengers approached them with the clear portents, but they said, Will mortals guide us? So they were ungrateful and turned away. And God is sufficient, and God is rich, worthy of praise. Those who were ungrateful claimed that they will never be raised up. Say, Yea, by my Lord, you will certainly be raised up. After that, you will be told of what you did, and that is easy for God. So believe in God and his messenger, and in the light which we have sent forth. And God is aware of what you do. On a day when he will amass you for the day of gathering, that will be the day of the mutual loss and gain. And whoever believes in God, and one who has acted in accord with morality, he will absolve him of his evil deeds, and he will cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers run, as ones who will dwell in them forever. That will be the sublime triumph. But for those who were ungrateful 
and denied our signs, those are the companions of the fire, ones who will dwell in it forever, and how miserable the homecoming. No affliction would light but with the permission of God. Whoever believes in God, he guides his heart, and God is knowing of everything. And obey God, and obey the messenger. Then, if you turn away, then it is only for our messenger the delivering the clear message. God, there is no God but he, and in God let the ones who believe put their trust. O those who have believed, truly there are among your wives and your children enemies for you, so beware of them. And if you would pardon, overlook, and forgive, then truly God is forgiving, compassionate. Your wealth and your children are only a test, and God with him is a sublime compensation. So be God-fearing of God as much as you are able, and hear, and obey, and spend. That is good for yourselves, and whoever is protected from his own stinginess than those, they are the ones who prosper. If you lend to God a fair loan, he will multiply it for you, and will forgive you. And God is ready to appreciate, forbearing, one who has knowledge of the unseen and the visible, the Almighty, the wise. Chapter 65 Divorce In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. O oh, prophet, when you divorced your wives, then divorce them after their waiting periods, and count their waiting periods, and be God-fearing of God your Lord, and drive them not out from their houses, nor let them go forth, unless they approach a glaring indecency. These are the ordinances of God, and whoever violates the ordinances of God, then truly he has done wrong to himself. Thou art not informed, so that perhaps God would cause to evoke something after that affair. Then, when they have reached their term, either hold them back as one who is honorable, or part from them as one who is honorable and call to witness two possessors of justice from among you, and perform testimony for God. That is admonished for whomever has been believing in God and the last day. And he who is God-fearing of God, he will make a way out for him, and he will provide him with where he not anticipate. And whoever puts his trust in God, then he will be enough for him. God is one who reaches through his command. Surely God has assigned a measure to everything, and as for those who give up hope of menstruation among your women, if you are in doubt, their waiting period is three months, and for those who have not yet menstruated. As for those who are imbued with pregnancy, their term is until they bring forth a baby, and whoever is God-fearing of God, he will make his affair easy for him. That is the command of God, which he has sent forth to you. And whoever is God-fearing of God, he will absolve him of his evil deeds and will enhance for him a compensation. Cause them to dwell where you inhabited according to what you are able to afford, and press them not to put them in straits. And if they are imbued with pregnancy, then spend on them until they bring forth their baby. And if they breastfeed for you, Give them their compensation, and each of you take counsel between you as ones who are honorable. But if you make difficulties for one another, then another may breastfeed. The possessor of plenty spends from his plenty, and he whose provisions were measured, he will spend out of what God has given him. And God places not a burden on any person beyond what he has given him. God will make ease after hardship. How many a town has defied the command of its Lord and his messengers? So we made a reckoning, a severe reckoning, and we punished it with a horrible punishment. So it experienced the mischief of its affair, and the ultimate end of its affair had been lost. God prepared for them a severe punishment. So be God-fearing of God, O those imbued with intuition, those who have believed. Surely God has sent forth to you a remembrance, 
a messenger who recounts to you the signs of God, ones that are made manifest, that he may bring out those who have believed and the ones who have acted in accord with morality from the shadows to the light. And whoever believes in God and one who acts in accord with morality, he will cause him to enter into gardens beneath which rivers run, ones who will dwell in them for ever, eternally. Surely God has made a good provision for him. It is God who created the seven heavens and of the earth a similar number like them. The command comes forth between them, so that you would know that God is powerful over everything, and that God truly is one who comprehends everything in his knowledge. Chapter 66 The Forbidding In the name of God, the Merciful, the Compassionate O oh, Prophet, why hast thou forbidden what God has permitted to thee, looking for the good will of thy wives? And God is forgiving, compassionate. God has imposed on you the dissolution of your oaths, and God is your defender, and he is the knowing, the wise. And mention when the prophet confided to one of his wives a discourse. She then told it to another. God disclosed to him of it. He acquainted her with some of it, and turned aside some of it. When he told her about it, she said, Who communicated this to you? He said, The knowing, the aware, has told me. If you two repent to God, the hearts of you both will have bent towards it. And if you help one another against him, then truly God, he is his defender, and Gabriel, and ones who act in accord with morality, the ones who believe and the angels after that are his sustainers. Perhaps if he divorced you, his Lord will cause in exchange for him wives better than you, ones who submit to one God, ones who believe, ones who are morally obligated, ones who repent, ones who worship, ones who incline to fasting, women previously married and virgins. O oh, those who have believed, protect yourselves and your people from a fire whose fuel is humanity and rocks, over which are angels, harsh, severe, who do not disobey whatever God commands them, and they accomplish what they are commanded. O oh, those who were ungrateful, make not excuses this day. You are only given recompense for what you had been doing. O oh, those who have believed, turn to God for forgiveness remorsefully, faithfully. Perhaps your Lord will absolve you of your evil deeds and cause you to enter into gardens beneath which rivers run. On the day God will not cover the prophet with shame and those who have believed with him. Their light will hasten about between them and on their right. They will say, Our Lord, fulfill for us our light and forgive us. Truly, thou art powerful over everything. O oh, prophet, Struggle against the ones who are ungrateful and the ones who are hypocrites, and be harsh against them, and their place of shelter will be hell, and how miserable the homecoming. God has propounded an example for those who were ungrateful, like the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot. They both had been under two servants of our servants, ones who are in accord with morality, but they both betrayed them so they availed them not against God at all. And it was said, Enter the fire along with ones who enter. And God has propounded an example for those who have believed. Behold the wife of Pharaoh. She said, My Lord, build for me near thee a house in the garden, and deliver me from Pharaoh and his actions, and deliver me from the folk, the ones who are unjust. And Mary the daughter of Imran, she guarded the virginity of her private parts, so we breathed into it of our spirit, and she established as true the words of her Lord and his books, and she had been among the ones who are morally obligated. 